In the human world, nothing is more painful than losing a wife and child at the same time. Uncle Pam stood guard over the bodies of his wife and son. Squeeze your wife's hand. My heart is broken. The next brother wanted to come up to comfort him, but the loss of a loved one make two men cry together. Uncle Pam and his brother are two veterans in order to avoid the war at home. In search of a peaceful place to live, they came to the western United States. After seven years of hard work, finally settled down here. Though not rich, but it's more than enough for them to hunt for a living. First thing after settling down is to bring the wife and children from far away to enjoy their happiness. Not for seven years. Uncle Pam's eyes are full of missing. When I see the loved ones I think about. Uncle Pao with his face full of vicissitudes, finally smiled. He choked up on the spot with excitement. A thousand words and not knowing how to speak, the wife hurriedly let the son call father. The good son is also very obedient. This moment, Uncle Pak thought all the hard work was worth it. My brother wanted to reunite the family of three, made an excuse to stay in town. That's it. The family of three got into the carriage home. No one knows. The carriage became the place where the nightmare began. The carriage was about to leave. All of a sudden there are two punks. They drove down the couple who were sitting opposite, took someone else's seat. One of them started to look at Uncle Pappy's wife. The son on the way was full of curiosity about hunting. Uncle Pack promised his son, take him out hunting tomorrow. The son was full of joy. At this point one of the thugs was drinking. While talking provocatively, Uncle Pam paid no attention. Then the mugger handed over the bottle. I want my wife to drink. Uncle Pam or chose to bear. Let the wife take a sip. But the guy in charge of alcohol didn't stop there and started to make a move on his wife. Uncle Papu suppressed his anger. He told his opponent to stop. But the other punk pulled out a gun. Aim at Uncle Plucking. The mutt was afraid to fight Uncle B.A. More and more. He dragged his wife into his arms without fear. Uncle Pam did not dare to act rashly. Tell your wife to bite the bum on the ear. In the chaos pulling uncle takes advantage of the opportunity to kick the other side's gun. Got the upper hand. But when he told his son to pick up the gun and the other guy grabbed the kid, Uncle Pam lost the initiative in a few seconds. He put down the gun, begging for the mob to leave his family alone, only to be carried off the wagon by the thugs as he watched the carriage go away. He gave chase. How could a man's feet possibly catch up with the speed of a carriage? Even so, he didn't dare stop. I don't know how long. He found his son lying on the ground. But I'm not breathing anymore. He clasped his son's body. The brain went blank for a moment. He had no time to grieve. Follow the wheel marks. He had not gone far to find the coachman lying on the ground. And the carriage is not far away. He picked up the gun. Straight at the punk outside the car. A gun to the head. The mugs in the car heard gunshots. I can't even get my pants up. He was running to the woods. Uncle Papu shot him decisively. And wounded him in the leg. The mob crawls and begs for mercy. But Uncle Pam couldn't have let him go. He was beaten into a civil alive. Until the gun ran out of bullets, he went to check on his wife. And the wife has lost her breath. A family reunion after seven years. In less than a day, the Ian and Young are separated. Uncle Pack was inconsolable. He took the bodies of his wife and children home, holding his wife's hand in tears. My brother came home. It's not known what happened to see this tragic scene. The two brothers wept head to head. Then he buried his wife and son in grief. Uncle Pack thought he'd gotten his revenge and it was over. I didn't expect that. The nightmare is just beginning. Uncle Pam and his wife and son, whom he has not seen for seven years, are reunited for the first day. You get targeted by thugs. The cruel thug took the lives of his wife and children. Uncle Pam also succeeded in avenging his wife and children. I thought the feud was over. I had no idea that the real trouble had just begun. A group of outlaws on horseback with guns coming to town. They're the biggest gangsters in the land. And one of the punks that Uncle Pam killed. It's the brother of the black boss. Look at my brother's house. The eldest brother was seething with anger. Order the sheriff of the town to find the precinct master. Or two villagers come out every day at 12 o'clock to bury his brother with him. The people of the small town have been oppressed by this evil force. Facing this group of desperados, the villagers dared not speak out. Soon it was noon the next day. Under the threat of the gang, the sheriff handed over an old man and a disabled man. The black boss keeps his mouth shut. Just killed two people. But the cruel boss tried to vent his anger and shot a young man. He thinks old people and disabled people are only half and threaten the mayor. The town's protection money from $80 to $160 until they find Zone's hand. The other side. Uncle Pat Sam and his brother are ready to leave this sad land. They packed their things and came to town. My brother went to the grocery store to sell the rest of the hide. Uncle Pam found the mayor, trying to sell the land, but the mayor took advantage. Land that was originally worth $300, it's down to $150. In a hurry to leave Uncle Puin had to say yes, and hid the money from the sale in his boots. Just as he was about to leave, all the villagers in the town are gone. The sheriff surrounded him with a crowd. It turns out someone recognized them when they came. The villagers who wanted to protect themselves 
themselves had to tip off the sheriff. Seeing the situation is not right. Uncle Pam wanted to ride off, but I just turned a corner, got shot by the sheriff in the back. Even a man and a horse fell on the spot. He was arrested and locked up. The younger brother will not be spared. Uncle Pam intercede with the sheriff. He did everything on his own. It's not about his brother. And the sheriff knows it. Uncle Pam was only forced to do nothing to avenge the death of his wife and children. But under the threat of the gang, he didn't want the villagers to continue to be killed. We have to arrest him, sacrifice him for the peace of the town. The next day he was beaten up by his gang brother, hanging from a stake, a day and a night in the hot sun. By this time he was dying. But the mayor of the greedy dreams came to rob us, took the shoes where he hid the money. The bad old man is really the worst. The other brother saw that the guard had one eye. He would deliberately provoke him, just as the guard tried to flatter him. He found Uncle Plam, easily took out two of the guard's thugs, saved my brother, just as they were about to leave. Two punks just got back, he had to stay in the dark. I took a couple of punks. <laughs> But the gunshot caught the attention of the others. They came after him. It's a shooting spree on two people. Fortunately, they ran in time. But the weak uncle did not run. Long before he fell off his horse, the pursuers were closing in. His brother hit him behind a stone, left him a gun, and then went to distract the gang himself. The younger brother tried to save the weak uncle, hide him behind a rock. He went alone and led the mob away. After dawn, Uncle Papu slowly came to himself. While he was drinking from a puddle, the distant sound of horses' hoofs. He hid behind a stone and did not make a sound. But the scene that followed broke his heart. The mob is dragging a body, and that is his own brother. The death of loved ones in succession. Let this man's heart die. He swore to avenge himself. The other side. When the punks get home, stunned by what I saw, the safe in the house was emptied out. It turns out that the woman in charge of the crime ran away with all the money. She hates the boss. Two, she was also taken back by the black boss and a poor woman. She hurriedly boarded the train and wanted to run away. Just after the train started slowly, her hanging heart finally came to rest. But the train didn't last long. A couple of punks came after him. They forced the train to stop. Women have nowhere to go. I'm just gonna pick it. The groomed uncle took advantage of the night. First find the mayor who's greedy. I got my boots and my money back. And then put the greedy old man in the library material. And then to the grocery store. Purchased the weapon. Ready to wipe off the mob's lair. The boys in the shop will go with him for revenge. His grandmother was killed by a black boss, but Uncle Pappas thinks he's a child. Didn't want him to take the risk, but the vengeful child is on his own. He set fire to a haystack outside the gangster's house to get the punks to check it out, and then you go out on your own and fight the gangsters. Then the barn caught fire. Some punk went over to check it out. Uncle Pack, who was ambushed, was killed on the spot. Meanwhile the boy took advantage of the chaos to climb to the roof. When he shot the guy across the street, he's exposed himself. The men under the roof shot at the top. The boy was tragically killed. His prepared kerosene bottle was also smashed. The kerosene dripped down. The gas burst into flames in a flash. A thug took a woman out of jail. Hide in the dark uncles to his kidney is a shot. Saved a woman's life. At the same time he exposed himself. Next to him. A bald head shot him in the face. Uncle Papu was unlucky to be shot in the leg. Baldy wants to take advantage of victory. Uncle Papa is gone. He shot wildly at the floor. Still no sign of the target. He wanted to look down through the cracks in the floor. The wounded bald head tried to escape, but Uncle Pam can't let him go. And that's when, the crafty black boss hit him in the shoulder in the dark. Uncle Pappin fell to the ground, just as he wanted to keep shooting. The woman pulled the trigger on his back. The black boss wants to fight back. Woman. Another shot. This woman also saved Uncle Ba's life. Uncle Pam stood up behind his back, took out the black boss himself. At this point, the gang members were wiped out. He finally fulfilled his promise to avenge one's family. Then the sheriff came. Two, there is a great deal of appreciation for his behavior because Uncle Pack helped the villagers get rid of the mob. Finally, the two Tianyat Sanru people came together. They left this place of sin and betrayal. <laughs>